Good morning. On Wednesday, the 1st of February, a new month, uh, starting off with the monthly candle. You can see, yeah, you, should, you most likely already knew. Huge candle to the upside. Uh, looks interesting. Mm, barely any pullback so far. And uh, yeah, let's have a look on the lower time frames. Yesterday, uh, well, I must say today is a bit tricky. Um, we have FOMC coming up uh, tonight that might give some uh, some big volatility up or down. Uh, I don't know, and I'm not going to to try to guess it. Um, so that yeah, that makes it a bit tricky for today. Uh, what to expect and and relying on on usual patterns. Uh, which I did for the past days might not work in uh, in the aftermath of the uh, FOMC outcome. So let's first see what uh, happened yesterday. Yesterday I talked about this move up when I have the right color uh, for Bitcoin uh, that bounce. Uh, my previous update was yesterday around here. I said I move into the red box and then I expect further downside. We did have a lovely reaction from that. Well, lovely. It took hours, but at the end we did have a reaction lower on that red box, and then it shot up uh, from this, yeah, this kind of demand zone um, to take out the previous top and then come down again. Um, this disturbs a bit my view, but on the higher time frames i yeah i'm still looking for a, a move towards uh 22,000 21,800 maybe that is what my system says um, uh, but yeah what i said we are running into fomc and that makes it a bit more tricky and um therefore um, I'm just gonna wait and see what happens uh, during the day, but especially right after FOMC. We are uh, streaming live for our group and will try to trade it, but usually I'm not a big fan of, of trading that volatility. Um, but based purely based on my my uh, my system, I still would say we should make this move this corrective move towards uh, 21,800 more or less. But who knows, we might see a big surprise in the FOMC and then heading higher. If we do have a bit of a normal price action, I would be looking for um, longs above 23,300, the old range high. So because we dropped back in that range here a bearish retest coming down another bearish retest normally you would say down but if we manage to get back above it that could be a spike in fomc and then maybe a bit of consolidation and then i would look for longs again uh, but that's just in case we go up in uh, or after the fomc until then until proven otherwise i do think it's more likely to see that move to the downside. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and uh, have a good month.